Alright goblins, welcome to my very quick and basic Blood Death Knight tanking guide updated for Legion Patch 7.0. In this video I will teach you the perfect method to gear your character and the optimal talent build and rotation which shall maximise your survivability in a raiding environment. Let's jump into gearing, so the start priority for, a, for blood depends on whether you're going to be a main tank or an off tank because as an off tank then it is more beneficial to increase your DPS slightly. So as the main tank the priority is haste, then crit, then mastery and then versatility. The reason why haste is so you know becomes so beneficial in legion is because it reduces your uh, rune regen re regeneration which means that you can cast your defensive abilities more often so when your runes come off cooldown more frequently then you can use that those um, rune consuming abilities to generate runic power and then obviously when you generate runic power you use that on death strike which means more shields and more healing. But if you're going to be an off tank then haste is still your highest DPS option but you want to try and build up a little bit more crit and then prioritize versatility over mastery. And uh, yeah let's try to talk about the enchants. For the special neck enchant go for mark of a heavy hide but you know go for mark of a hidden satyr if you're more of an off tank. Definitely get strength on the back then on the rings go for haste and then for gemming go full haste but if you want you know more damage then get the big strength gem also. A talent here is a picture of a talent build which shall provide the best survivability for most encounters but always remember to learn the mechanics of every boss and swap your talents to counter different and unique boss abilities and also if you're an off tank then you want to swap around the talent slightly to increase your, uh, your single tank DPS. So Blood Death Knight is all about you know building up runic power to spend it on Death Strike, which is your main ability for survivability. So what we want to do firstly is retain Blood Plague on the target since it heals you for the damage done, and this is um, you do this by basically casting Blood Boil. Use Marrow Men to retain your Bone Shield stacks, right? So you need a Bone Shield stack like pretty much a, you know pretty high all the time. You don't want Blood Bone Shield to be falling off. Use Death and Decay when you get a Crimson Scourge prop, you know because you may as well. And then if you you know if you don't need to use marrow wind and marrow men to keep up bone shield, like if bone shield is pretty far away from falling off, then um use death and decay and heart strike basically as a filler to build up runic power. And um you know that's basically all the method, all the abilities are gonna build up uh, runic power. And then which one you wanna do then is you know you wanna start burning away your runic power with death strike to keep yourself alive. And uh, let's talk about some cooldowns. Use Vampiric Blood, you know, just before you take basically big raid boss damage. Um, if it's not available, then you need to like build up a shield of Death Strike just before the big damage um, comes in. Use Anti Magic Shield to mit mitigate Mig. Uh, Mig. <laughs> what the hell does Mig mean? Uh, big magic damage. And use Dancing Rune Weapon, you know, during like high raid damage. So your heal, your healers don't really have to focus on healing you that much, and they can, you know, top up the raid. Because if a raid's taking bigger with AOE damage, then that can be quite bad. But if they have to heal the tank loads, then they don't, they can't heal the, you know, the DPS up, and that's when the kind of DPS dies. So during that situation where you know the DPS, the healers, everyone else is going to take high damage, then that's when you want to use Dancing Rune Weapon to mitigate the boss damage on you, so that the healers can just get everyone up, and uh, it's happy days. And obviously, while you are off tanking um, and not taking a, you know high amounts of damage, adjust your rotation to pot and uh, your kind of pop offensive cooldowns to maximise single target damage. But anyway, that is the end of the guide. Remember, this vi these videos are only meant to be a very quick and basic introduction to get you ready for raiding. My name is the Metagoblin. Until my next video, ciao.